Services Union funds. The former HSU secretary was ordered to pay $1.4 million to the union in August when the court found she'd used its money to fund a lavish lifestyle as Jackson filed for bankruptcy in June. There are calls for a change in attitudes towards adoption, with new figures showing the rate has reached a new low. Fewer than 300 children were adopted last financial year, despite tens of thousands of children being in foster care. The moment Sarah and James Wright met Josiah and Caleb, they knew. We fell in love with them and we approached the agency to adopt them. They say adopting the brothers through Bernardo's was the best thing they've done. Going to the next step of adoption has brought security to, to them and also brought security to us as parents. Just 292 children were adopted in the past financial year. Nearly three out of four were from Australia, with the rest from overseas. The figures mark a 74% drop in adoption rates in the last 25 years. Christian Porter says child protection agencies sometimes place too much emphasis on keeping biological families together. We just simply think that continuity and stability is an outcome which is preferable for a child if that outcome can be managed properly in all the circumstances. More than 43,000 children in Australia are in foster care and for some that's long term. What that means is for these children, that option to be in a permanent loving family isn't really available to them. The push for Australian adoption reforms has led to changes in New South Wales. The New South Wales reforms have made it easier to adopt foster children where there's little prospect of them returning to birth families. The Social Services Minister has singled out the New South Wales approach as best practice. Of course we have open adoption which is markedly different to what it was 25 years ago. Today when a child is adopted often the biological parents um, have an ongoing and very open connection with the adoptive parents. And for those navigating the adoption process some advice. Don't give up. There's so many children out there who need a home and there are little challenges but there's so much light at the end of the, at the, end of the tunnel and they bring so much joy, mm. don't they? Yes. Desire. Caleb. Brianna Roberts, SBS World News. A 19th century law has been challenged in Japan's Supreme Court. Women saw the right to keep their maiden name when married. We'll have the result shortly. Some of the first refugees to settle here as